Welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today I have a mini lesson for you guys and it's on using the TI-30XS multi-view calculator based on using it for powers and roots. So let's begin. We're going to look at how do you square a number. Now if you want to square a number using the TI-30XS, you're going to use the x squared function which is right here. So any number you want to square, you just enter the number, press the button for x squared, and hit enter. So suppose we want to find 8 squared, enter 8, x squared, notice you have the square already in position, and hit enter, and our answer is 64. Suppose we want to square 25, we're going to enter 25, press the x squared, and enter. Our answer, 625. Suppose you want to find a value of negative 7 squared. So enter negative, remember this is our negative, 7, and x squared and hit enter. Our answer, negative 49. Suppose you want to square negative 15. Notice negative 15 is in parentheses. So open your parentheses, negative, enter 15, close the parentheses, and press the x squared function. And finally, our last step is to press enter and we have a value of 225. So if you want to square any value, just enter the value, press x squared, and enter, and you should have your answer. Now suppose, let's clear the calculator. Suppose we want, we're using a power greater than two, such as we want to cube a number or raise a number to the fourth power but we can't use the x squared button. The function we use is this, which is called the caret. So this function right here is called the caret. And the caret is right on top of the x squared function, right here. So suppose I have five and I want to raise it to the third power. I'm gonna enter five, press your caret, Notice when you press the caret, you have your exponent right here, but it's blank. So we're going to enter three. We're gonna to go to the right and we hit enter. We get a value of 125. Suppose we want to raise seven to the fourth power. We press seven, press the caret so we can access that power and then we enter the power that we are solving for. We want the fourth power. Go to the right and hit enter. Seven raised to the fourth power is 2,401. Suppose we want two raised to the seventh power. Again, you start with two, press the caret, press seven, which is our power. Go to the right. Make sure your cursor is right here and hit enter. And our answer is 128. Now let's clear this. Suppose we have three and we're raising it to uh, an exponent that is negative. So I'm gonna enter three. Again, press my caret. My exponent is negative two, so negative and then enter my two, go to the right, and hit enter. Notice my answer is one over nine. So the caret function is what is used when you have to find a power greater than two. So you're raising a number to a power such as a third, a fourth, a fifth, or even a negative number. Let's look at roots. Now I did a lesson before on finding square roots and I'll just briefly go over it again. 
If you want to find a square root, you're going to use second function and the x squared. The reason you're using second function and the x squared is because your square root symbol is written right here in green. And to access it, you have to press second function. This x squared button serves two functions. It's to square anything, but if you want to find a square root, you must press second function first. Suppose I want to find a square root of 196. I'm going to press second function, x squared, which gives me access to the square root symbol. I'm going to enter 196. I'm going to go to the right, and I'm going to hit enter. And my answer is 14. Let's try that again. We want to find a square root of 225, second function, x squared, 225, to the right, and enter. Your answer is 15. Suppose we want to find the square root of 90, second function, x squared, let's enter 90, to the right, and enter. You get an answer of 3 square root 10. Now sometimes on the test, your answer may be a decimal. So to change this 3 square root 10 to a decimal, we would use the toggle function right here. So if I press the toggle, it actually changes it to a decimal. And on the test, they'll tell you to round to the nearest tenth or hundredth because this number keeps going. You can also add or subtract or multiply or divide your square roots. So here I have the square root of 27 plus the square root of 48. So second function, x squared, I enter 27, I go to the right, plus second function, x squared, 48, I go to the right, and I hit enter. And there I have a value of 7 square root 3. Again, if you want to access the decimal form of this, just press the toggle and it changes it into a decimal, which is 12.12435565. And you'll be asked to round. Now suppose you want to find a root that is greater than 2, such as the cube root. So if you want to find a cube root, you're going to use second function and the caret function. Now if you notice on top of the caret function right here, you have x with a square root symbol. This is used when you want to find a root greater than 2. So such as our example here, I want to find a cube root of 125. Your first step is to enter your root, which is 3, second function with the caret. That gives me access to the root. I'm going to enter 125. I'm going to go to the right, and I hit enter. My answer is 5. Suppose I want to find the fourth root of 625. So I'm going to put in my root, which is 4, second function, caret. I'm going to enter 625, go to the right, and hit enter. And I get a value of 5. So I want to find the fifth root of 32. So again, enter your root which is 5, second function, caret, enter 32, remember go to the right, and enter. And my answer is 2. So if you want to find the root of a number and your root is not a square, such as cube root, fourth root, fifth root, sixth or seventh root, you're going to use second function and the caret function. And that will give you access to finding the root of any number. Now the last two slides, I have the key press history. So you can actually pause the video and practice. 
on how to square a value or find a cube of a value such as the cube of five or the fourth of seven. And my next slide is the key press history for roots. So the first one is if you're finding like normal square roots, like the square root of 196, while at the bottom is for when you're finding such as cube roots and fourth roots and fifth roots. So again, you can pause the video and practice using your calculator. Remember, half your test, you can use the calculator. So make sure that you're utilizing this resource for your task test. Good luck.